We dance on Chilean soil, more beautiful than Rachel and Leah, the land that smells men with a bit of lips and hair. The greenest land of orchards, the finest land of wheat, the richest land of bangers, or went without your feet. It's that made our cheeks, it river all laughter, and like a mother's mom, it kisses the dancer feet. It is beautiful and because of this beauty we want, it is filled to a way. It is free, and for its freedom, in song to bathe your face. Tomorrow we will open new trucks for Vanger and Orcats to make. Tomorrow we will elevate its villages to dances just what we want today. From the icy niche where men place you, I will lower you to the humble and warm earth. The men didn't know that I am to lay in it, and that upon the same pillow we are to dream. I will gently lay you down into the warm earth with a sweet kiss of a mother for her sleeping child, and the soil will become a soft cradle upon receiving your body of a hard child. This weary tiredness will one day be greater and the soul will tell the body it does not want to continue, dragging its mass along the rose-colored path where men go by happy to live. You will feel resolute digging beside you as another sleeping woman arrives to the quiet town. I will wait until they have covered me completely and we will then speak for an eternity. The sea rock sells thousands of ways. The sea is divine. Here in the loving sea, I rock my song. The wind, wandering by night, rocks the wheat. Here in the loving sea, I rock my song. God, the Father, soundlessly rocks his house on top world. Feeling his hands in the shadow, I rock my song. Little feet of children, blue with cold, how can they see you and not call you, dear God? Little wounded feet, cut by every stone, hurt by a snow and maya. Man blind does not know that where you pass, you leave a flower of living life. And where you sit, you leave a bleeding foot. The spiner blooms more fragrant. Walking the strike path, be a roy. Do you feel that you are perfect? Neither feel all children to tiny suffering youths. How can people pass and not see you? We women do not write solemnly like Buffon, who for the chance donned his jacket with lace sleeves and sat down with great solemnity at his mahogany desk. I write over the knees, a writing has never been of any use to me, nor in Chile, nor in Paris, nor in Lisbon. I write in the morning or the night the afternoon has never given my inspiration without understanding the reason for the sterility or the negative attitude towards me. 
I do not think that I have ever written a verse in a cloud room or in a room with a window facing a building well. I always, you know, pies of sky with Chile gave my brilliant blue and that Europe gave my unchase of grey. My mood improves if my old eyes rest upon a mass of trees. <laughs>